Joe Shimoda is possibly the most sought after talent in the 250 class coming into 2024, and it sounds like there are multiple teams that would like to employ him. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Rumor Mill here on Vital MX, and this is presented by our friends at Yoshimura R&D of America. You can check them out at yoshimura-rd.com. I'm your host, Michael Lindsay, and yes, this episode is related to Joe Shimoda, whose contract is coming to an end with the Monster Energy Pro Circuit squad in 2023 at the end of this season. Before we jump into this episode of Rumor Mill, I always have to remind people, Rumor Mill is a feature we do about the talking, the gossip, things floating around the industry, mechanics, riders, industry people, you know, agents, people we talk to. We find this stuff out. It's not exactly done. It's not exactly confirmed. Maybe it doesn't happen, but it's at least far enough along or close enough to happening that we think it's worth talking about here. And as we said, it is worth talking about where Joe Shimoda is going to land in 2024. His contract is ending with the Monster Energy Pro Circuit Squad, and we really thought it'd be a foregone conclusion that we would get an extension announcement some point during the Supercross season. There are two riders already confirmed at Pro Circuit Kawasaki for next year, that being Seth Hamaker and Cameron McAdoo, who both signed two-year deals at some point last year, locking them in for 2023 and 2024. Everyone else on the team, however, is still trying to exactly figure out what they're doing next year, whether it's Ryder DeFrancesco, Austin Forkner, Jet Reynolds, and Joe Shimoda. As of the past few weeks, though, the certainty of Joe re-signing has seemed to kind of gone out the window with the strongest rumor linking him to the Team Honda HRC squad to possibly reunite him with the Lawrence brothers. He, of course, has the same management in Wasserman from Lucas Myrtle, and a lot of people just thought between his prior Honda experience, again, those personal connections, that that might be the place where he would end up. And there's also a good chance of that because Jet Lawrence is moving to a 450 full-time come outdoors. And originally, we thought Hunter Lawrence would be moving for a 450 outdoors next year. But another piece of rumor mill is that might be getting moved up a little bit. So maybe they need a veteran in championship level 250 guy in Joe Shimoda. However, we have some conflicting information that points to Honda really just backing Chance Hymas and starting to improve and grow the relationship with the Phoenix Racing Honda squad to eventually make them the factory level 250 team. So we do have some doubts that the offer or the deal would end up coming together to bring Joe over there. Also because it sounds like the opportunity to have an option or a guaranteed 450 ride seems to be very important to Joe, Joe and his camp. And let's be honest, Honda's gonna be locked down with Hunter and Jet for the foreseeable future. And everything we've heard is they really wouldn't consider running three full-time 450s down the road. So with that, what teams could make him a potential offer? Well, one of them we also heard this week, even though it doesn't quite tie in with the guaranteed 450 deal, is we did hear there would be potentially an offer coming from the Monster Energy Star Yamaha team. Maybe that's on the table. There's also some talk, and at least the one that we are starting to think is the most likely, is the potential for him to end up at Rockstar Energy Husqvarna alongside RJ Hampshire. So there are a few reasons for this. Number one, we truly believe that Jalik Swole will be moving on at the end of the year. There is nothing confirmed there, of course, but we think he will be at Triumph Racing in 2024. His fill-in in Talon Hawkins, he's doing okay, but not really enough to garnish to stay on that bike he may stay inside the Austrian brand of some shape or form, maybe put him on a support team, but we do not believe that he has done enough to retain that ride. So again, Husqvarn team is looking for a big name. They could get that in Joe Shimoda for two major reasons. It sounds like the team will be foregoing having a team gear deal in 24 instead of working with Fly Racing any further. And that is something that sort of got kicked off again by the Honda HRC program bringing back 250 program in-house by bringing on the Lawrences. They allowed them to do their own gear deals. We then saw the Red Bull KTM program do that when they brought on Max Volan, and that has now been extended Tom Vial. And we hear a lot of riders are now pushing to see if they can get gear deals as a 250 rider. Because if you're a 250 rider on a good salary, you're getting 100, 150, 200, 250 base. You're locked into team gear deals. You don't really get the opportunity to go out and get energy drink deals and gear deals and try to lock down any extra salary. However, if you can get on a team that allows that, and if you are a rider of the caliber of the Lawrences, of a Joe Shimoda, of Hampshire, some of these guys, there is between your boots, your gear, your helmet, your goggles, there is another 100, 150, 200, 250 
maybe even north of that in terms of gear deals that can be locked down, which also includes separate bonuses for performances. So this is really good extra income for those guys. And again, we think that the Rockstar Energy Husqvarna team has seen what's happened with KTM, and they're going to potentially try to do the exact same thing. So that is something that we've heard Shimoda and his camp are very interested in, that he has potential gear deals lined up that would help his payout quite a bit. And then on top of that, they would be a team that could guarantee him some sort of 450 option. We actually know that is supposedly what they have already offered RJ Hampshire is a two-year extension to his 250 deal with that 450 option in place. And what we mean by option is it's usually termed in the contract in some shape or form if the rider is to win a 250 Supercross or Outdoor National title at any point during their 250 deal, they would automatically be locked into a 450 contract for one or two years after that expires. Maybe it's not title, maybe it's certain amount of race wins or certain amount of performances overall in championships, but it usually seems to be tied to winning a 250 title. So they've given RJ the option. It sounds like they're also willing to give Joe that option. And this really ticks all the boxes. And again, outside teams, Star might be able to offer him some sort of 450 ride in the future, but they can't offer him gear deals. Honda could offer him gear deals. We don't think they can offer him a guaranteed 450 deal. This Rockstar Energy Husqvarna deal might seem a little bit out of left field suddenly, but from what we've heard, negotiations are already underway, and we really think there's a very strong chance of this one happening. Again, anything could happen. He could end up staying at Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki. Maybe this triggers them to get a deal together and hurry up and get it done. But again, this is the one we're leaning towards as the most likely for Joe with the circumstances at the moment. The last interesting piece for us to see happening is kind of what happens with the Alden Baker thing. Anybody that goes to the Husqvarna or the KTM program is expected to train there eventually. Joe has a very good relationship, a very close relationship with his trainer, Nick Way. We don't see that just ending suddenly, so we don't know exactly how that's going to work out, and that would be a big question mark of ours coming into this program if this is where he chooses to go. So again, this has been this episode of Rumor Mill. Let's hear your thoughts in the comments section down below. What do you think of this news? Does it catch you off guard? What do you think the real possibilities are, and who would you like to see end up where? And if you like these features, please give us a subscribe. We would really appreciate it, and stay tuned for more.